the Office of Naval Research, ONR, is developing new capability for unmanned flight, known as the Autonomous Aerial Cargo Utility System, ACUS. ACUS technology makes it possible for unmanned helicopters to fly and bring supplies to Marines in the field with just the touch of a user's tablet, keeping pilots and air crews out of danger. What's truly revolutionary about this is the ease of use. Anyone can order supplies from their tablet without needing months of specialized training. I think what you've seen today is with the advantages and the test results we've been able to witness all of us, that we might have indeed something for the future that can be very, very relevant to our missions. Well, we're out in front here. This is, uh, is cutting-edge stuff. This is uh, the selection of a landing site. Um, no one's telling the helicopter where to land. It's, it's, uh, it's being told a general region, but it's able to pick the site itself. It's able to identify the obstacles itself and then execute the landing. No one's done that before. It's a self-flying robot with laser beams, man. It doesn't get much cooler than that. <laughs> Our initiative is to try to find methods through which we could have an entirely autonomous system do what a manned helicopter would do. That's one way, fortunate for the Marine Corps, the technology will be very helpful. Anything that doesn't put um, humans in harm's way will be good. One single helicopter loaded up with the supplies they need, fly out unmanned, land, get the gear, and then for it to fly off on its own. ACUS has its origins on the battlefield, where troops needed to get convoys off roads and deliver supplies by air, while reducing the workload and danger for helicopter crews. And what we're developing here is a system that responds to a request in the field for supplies, develops its own route, flies there by itself without any oversight, comes in, selects its own landing site, and lands, again, without any oversight whatsoever. So this is a truly autonomous design. Autonomy is more than just unmanned vehicles, whether it be air vehicles or surface vehicles or subsurface vehicles, but it's also uh, autonomy in manned systems, uh, uh, relieving the, the load on the human in the loop, allowing the human to be raised to a higher level where other tasks can be done and, and autonomous systems can handle some of the things that are maybe dull or, or dirty or, or, or dangerous. For ACUS Phase One testing held at Quantico Marine Corps Base in Virginia, ONR's goal was for a Marine in the field, not a professional aviator or flight controller, to be able to request resupply using a tablet or mobile device without extensive specialized training. They made it real easy to understand, so even if you got no training, you'd still be able to figure it out. It only took me approximately 10 minutes to pick up on how to use it, and maybe another two or three minutes to start actively using it on my own without any assistance. Key to ACA's success are teamwork and partnerships supported by ONR. What is great about working with ONR is they also give us the freedom to uh, uh, pursue and push the envelope to advance the state of the art of the technology, which is a good thing for the Navy and Marine Corps. These partnerships resulted in two successful ACUS tests. We've got a helicopter, and we've taken an autonomous landing system on that helicopter, and we've been able to take that helicopter and land it at a number of unprepared sites, all by the touching a tablet. ACUS technology can also help manned flights be safer and more accurate. For instance, ACUS can assist the pilot while landing in challenging conditions like dust or snow. Recently, companies like Amazon have talked about delivering a book to a customer with an unmanned aircraft. We're trying to do the same thing, but I want to bring 5,000 pounds to a marine in the field of bullets or batteries or water uh, in this, that same fashion. It could even indeed maybe bring this to a a rescue mission somewhere, maybe to a dangerous landing zone, all with the touch of a single tablet. That's where we think this might be hugely beneficial to our Navy and Marine Corps in the future.